Welcome today to 8 Buick Crescent. It's the 13th of March 2017. This is at the quiet end of Buick Crescent, I guess you could say, as not a lot of cars come down this part. It's just a nice peaceful place to live, close to Riverdale School. Now I'm just going to zoom us forward a little to, as if I've just walked in the front door, we've got the lounge straight ahead, bedrooms to the left, and the kitchen to the right. The home has been completely redecorated. It's all this lovely feel to it. Trendy coloured kitchen, you've got a dishwasher and oven there. And one thing I love about this kitchen is how it's got massive amounts of cupboard space, even a bit of extra bench space there as well. So very well appointed indeed, and a servery here to the dining area. This would be a lovely space for capturing the sun earlier in the day. Built in bookshelf there as well. If we go straight ahead, we end in a room which would be extremely sunny and it could be a single bedroom, a study or a crib. And this leads to double doors to my left out onto a lovely sunny front patio. It's a really nice room this one. There's the doors to the patio there. So it all opens out quite nicely. Now if we go through this archway to the right, then we've got the lounge, looking out over the covered patio there. All the colours are very tastefully done, new curtains, it's all just really beautiful. And you've got LED lighting in the home, which really helps to reduce power bills. Pretty good sized yard here, you can see some of it out the window, and a very large heat pump to keep the home nice and warm for you. Pumps popular of course because of the dry heat that they produce and also the ability to cool in summer. So heading up the hallway now, let's have a look at the other bedrooms. So just passing the control panel for an HRV to keep this home nice and dry and healthy for you. It's a good size room here. I'd like to pan down and show the floor area so it's a little easy or easier for you to make a decision. There's wardrobes in there as well. This is the room you'd probably use as the main bedroom. It's nice and private, that's just the rear yard there. Again, all very nicely done. And plenty of covered space in this room. Next bedroom, also a good size. You've got three bedrooms at this end of the home and the other room is at the other. And I've got a single wardrobe there as well. Heading back down the hall, we just come into the bathroom, which has been nicely refurbished. It's got a separate shower box, which is really handy, and it's got a shower dome on top, so that means that you don't need to have the water quite so hot. It keeps the bathroom steam free for getting ready in the mornings, and it's just generally better to have less moisture in the house. Got a separate bath there as well, and just next door to that room is the toilet, which has its own little basin, which can come in really handy. Now, as we if we went through the door there to the right, we'd be heading towards the back door and into the laundry. This is a really good size space. There's the cupboards that you're looking at now. There's also the cupboards up above. Great space indeed. Now, one of the real features of this home is it's got a very really large section. And it really is, uh, that was a Fijawa tree we were looking at there, one of the biggest I've seen. And there are some fruit trees around the yard. As well as that, I thought I'd just walk you along to show you this gate, which you can lock via padlock, which leads out to river walks and walkways and a park. So just a really nice, pleasant area to live. Just walking up the bank there to show you, and you can head down and exercise to your heart's content. Nice and easy to come back home. So lovely home in a very good location we think we're very comfortable here and we look forward to showing you through thanks for watching